and family of the man shot and killed by a West Baton Rouge Sheriff's deputy laid him to rest today. Joseph Richardson's funeral was held earlier today. Fox 44's Kennedy Walker was there, caught up with several family members who say their fight for justice isn't over yet. Many tears were shed Friday afternoon as Joseph Richardson's family laid him to rest. Yeah, we're doing our best. 15 days after Richardson was shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy, his family began to grieve by saying their last goodbyes. All we can do is move forward, you know, and hope that the judicial system will do its job and bring forth true justice and truth. Loved ones hugged and clutched each other tightly, comforting each other through this tough time and hoping to one day get answers. We still haven't heard anything, any factual information. On Wednesday, lawyers representing the family filed a public information request with the West Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office in hopes of finding out what led to the shooting on July 25th. Now attorney Haley says they should be getting answers soon. It's a sad occasion whenever you lose anyone, but to lose someone in such a tragedy and to still not have any answers 15 days afterwards, it, it's tough. Some of the requests include 911 tapes from that night, plus body camera footage and any previous disciplinary complaints against the two officers. We demand justice and accountability to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And if it does, that the same script does not continue to be followed. Now that Richardson has been buried, attorneys for the family say they can focus on finding out the truth. The fight is just now beginning. This is the mourning and the grieving process that the family has to go through. But the fight begins now. Kennedy Walker, Fox 44. Kennedy, thank you. Attorney Ronald Haley added that he should be receiving a response to the public records request sometime very soon. We'll continue to follow the story. Also